Hello, and welcome to our lesson on translations. In this lesson, we're going to use vector notation to perform and describe translations. So we're going to use vector notation, and vector notation describes a horizontal and a vertical movement. When the number on top is positive, we move to the right. When it is negative, we move to the left. And the number below, when it is positive, we move up, and when it is negative, we move down. So we have the translation vector 2, 3, and this is going to move object A to create image B. So I'll pick any vertex, and I'm going to translate it 2 to the right, because this is a positive 2, and 3 units up, because this is positive 3. And now I'm going to pick a different vertex and perform the same translation, 2 to the right, and three units up. So now I'm going to recreate the object using these two vertices. And we should find that the image is congruent with the object, which means it is identical to the object. And I can check this by performing the same translation from a different vertex. So by translating this vertex, I should end here. And I'm moving two to the right and three units up. And you can see that works. Okay, so let's create image C. I'm going to pick a different vertex and I'm going to translate it five to the left because this is a negative five. So one, two, three, four, five, and four units up because this is a positive four. One, two, three, four. I can do the same translation from a different vertex. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And now I can recreate the object. And I'm going to lay, label this image C. And we can check it is right by performing the same translation, but from a different vertex. So this vertex should match with this vertex. I'm going to move five to the left. One, two, three, four, five and four units up, one, two, three, four, and that works. For question C, we're going to describe a transformation that maps B onto C. The well, first thing that I have to mention is that it is a translation. And the vector, I'm going to pick a vertex on B, and I'm going to match it to C. And the Horizontal movement is to the left by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is negative seven and one up. I will try that from a different vertex. So this vertex here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one unit up. So you can see that works. Okay, for question C. Do you want to copy the grid using squared paper and then translate object A by the translation vector for a negative one? If you want to pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, for our question C, we're going to pick a vertex and we're going to move it four to the right and one down. So one, two, three, four, and one unit down. I'll pick a different vertex. I'll move it four to the right and one unit down. And now I can recreate the object. And I'm going to label this D. We can check it's right by picking a different vertex. And this vertex should align with this one. When we go four to the right, and one unit down. Okay, do you want to try question D by pausing the video and you can resume that when you're ready. Okay, for question D, I'm going to pick a vertex on object A and I'm going to move it three to the left and two units down. So one, two, three, and one, two. And I'll apply the same translation vector. One, two, three, and one, two. Now I can recreate the object. And I can check this by picking a different vertex. 
So in this vertex, you'd align with this one, moving it three to the left and two units down. And I'm going to label this image E. Okay, do you want to try and describe a transformation that maps E onto D? And you can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so the first thing to note is that it is a translation and the vector is from E to D. So from this vertex to this vertex, again, you can pick any vertex you choose. And then moving to the right, so it's positive, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one unit up. I will check that with a different vertex. So this one, and this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one up. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.